Welcome back to Final Fantasy 3. I've been doing a little bit of leveling, but uh, before we actually get to that save, bad things have to happen. How bad, you ask? The Empire is after the sealed gate. They're looking for some statues or something. No! I think he pooped himself. Aw, he looks sad. Now, oh, those silly espers, to think they opened the gate themselves. The statues should be just ahead. If we can just get our hands on them, we'll have everything we've ever dreamed of. Come quickly. I think I like this voice better for... Yes, Jal. Huh? What's wrong, Marstic? The island. The world is groaning in pain. Oh, we are boned. Thank you, Fess. No, no, I mean, we are so boned right now. You don't even know! How did these people even get in there? This is the... Remember the cave we were in with the fire and the zombies? That's Albrook, I think. And that's uh, that's the the sealed cave. It's up there now. And them's the statues. One of them looks like Venus with tentacles. And then there's a rhinoceros with an axe and a bat. <laughs> now this is power. This in my magic sight. Now nothing can stop me. Kefka's still just laughing like a twat. The beginning of all magic. Those? It's said that they somehow neutralized each other's power, then sealed themselves away. If the three statues should ever be moved out of alignment, the resulting imbalance of power would rearrange the face of our planet. What? I know, right? They don't teach you that crap in school. Anyway, we now have this option every time we, uh come to the helm controls. Not when you board the ship, but every time you uh, come to the helm controls. Otherwise, you lift off. Finding the floating continent gets you stuck in a thing. Anyway, um, I just wanted you guys to see that. I've actually been leveling up since then, because I forgot what level I'm supposed to be to be able to not die horribly. Um, and also I have people who need magic, like, she knows nothing! She almost knows some stuff. But anyway, let's, uh... Um, in a second, I'll find out where we were when I left off. Okay, this is where I left off. I don't think anyone except some really low-level people like Cat have actually gone up in levels. Um, but we've learned a lot of magic. Like, holy god. Uh, Marstic almost knows everything she can learn. And, uh, eh, she's still learning some stuff. He's still learning some stuff. I don't know why I have, uh, Eddie learning stuff. Because he's, eh, he's more there for pummeling people. Anyway, where the hell am I? Oh, yes, I'm down here. I was trying to find, find a good place to level up experience-wise. There just aren't very many good ones. Also, let's wander around the ship for a while. Uh, all members. Let me give you sprint shoes so we can wander around for a little bit. Uh, uh, it's a you want to change your party members? Say anything cute? Is there anyone up here in uh, Curtis's area? The gambling room. I just swore there'd be people in here, but I guess not. Some of the best airship music. Final Fantasy 2 had, or 4, 2, whatever, 
for the best team. We got the brothers over here. The Kirks is down there. What do you say now? Still no evil when you see it. Nope. What do you got? Let me at him! I like your enthusiasm. Gotta think for strategy. What do you got? The Empire deserves the worst. Someone in here? No. Doesn't look like it. Just airship parts. You lose the ability to gamble. Me too, God. No one travels all my years. Yeah, that floating continent thing. Heh <laughs> heh. always good. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, Zoltan, do you have anything? Or are you just gonna yell Gao at me? Oh, yes, we, we are aware of that, Zoltan, but thank you. We also need to figure out just who we want to take with us to the, uh the upcoming battle, because it's a doozy. I need more potions. Yes, I need more potions. Definitely need more potions. I need more tinctures, too. I might actually do some fighting on the Velt to get magic points and money that way. Um, what I have been doing, which I'll go show you, uh, we need people. Actually, I'm probably going to take Ragnar with us to the Floating Continent. Because he's a badass. At least for the first part of it. He's not essential, but god damn is he handy. Uh, who else would be good for the Floating Continent? Ninja or Orlok, probably. Koros would probably be good too, because there's going to be a lot of good things to steal on the Floating Continent. And we'll level up Cat just because. Because it's good to have Cat leveled up. Okay, I'm not going to bore you guys with equipping these idiots with stuff. I'll be right back. Okay, more pausing. Um, this is pretty much what I stuck with everybody. Uh, this is probably how we're going to storm the floating continent, but I'm going to want to get some... Uh, like I said, I want to get some more magic points on people, and I think there's a better spear we need to find for Ragnar, even though he's going to spend most of his time dancing. Also, I think I can get another mystery veil for Cap. Um... Now, I have her with the two earrings to make her magic attack just retardedly high. I mean, I don't think it shows up in her stats. And then I gave uh, Kat the Hyper Wrist and the Hero's Ring, so her Vigor uh, went up really high. Which is cool. Um, Ragnar, like I said, his stats don't matter. He's going to dance. I gave him Dragon Boots because they're fun. He's mainly there to tank. Uh, and then Korosu, uh, I gave the... Uh, Thief Club and the Sneak Ring, and he has a Hawkeye, because there's going to be a lot of flying enemies in the near future for us. And as far as magic, uh, I'm not really sure. I think we're going to want Phantom. So I'm going to have her learn some of that. What are you learning? You were learning Carbuncle. The shell and Warp are good things. Uh, do you know all the healing stuff? You know the important stuff. So we got Fire Ice, Bolt Life, on in. Oh, also, we want to uh, get some money so we can do the auction house, because there's, I think, one or two Magicites we can only get, like, in this part of the game. And that would be important. Oh, God, we need to get you some hit points. Where's hit points at? See, I wouldn't mind getting him a level or two. Uh, Shout will give you hit points, and everybody gets doomed. Okay, so, um, as far as, I think, just getting magic points, what I've been doing is if you go north and to the east to Triangle Island, which is up here, I got a little triangle. At least this is one of the things I found in the secret section, because I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything important uh, before we transition into the next section with the floating continent. And sometimes you fight these guys, and they don't matter. Uh, forest. Capture. Leaves! Or bananas, or slugs, or... I don't know. Uh, let's go with slugs. I think that's a poetic image. Yeah, that's not what we're here for. We're here for Marstic to get messed up. I mean, it's bad, but I'm not quite sure how to counter it, so there's that. Uh, 
on, here we go. It's an Intangir. It is an invisible behemoth-like monster, and it's a sleep. Um, if you cast magic at it, it will wake up. If you cast doom at it, it will die. But it will counterattack first. Like so. And that's what it looks like. And then it casts Meteo on Marstic, which she survives with, like, eh, less than 100 hit points. And then we get 10 magic points. That's it. Just 10 magic points, but hell yeah, that's awesome. Um, and then she needs healing very badly. <laughs> but, uh, Ragnar's strong enough, one bow to cure two will do that. I think I want over a thousand hit points for the floating continent, so I might need to level up my guys a little bit, I'm not sure. I'm just not sure where I would go to level people up. Especially, and keep it entertaining. Memory can be a problem here, because I don't want Marstic casting Doom on a bunny. This stuff costs a hell of a lot of magic. Dive? What? Go to hell. A harvester? I don't know what that is. Oh, it looks like we got... Stuff? What the hell did you do, Ragnar? Hmm. Maybe we got, um... Regen or something silly. Usually we would glow. Maybe we got MP back? Definitely didn't get MP back. Yeah, I think Doom is 35 magic, which... If I'd gotten that gold hairpin from Lone Wolf... Ha! Name dropping. Um, it wouldn't be as big of a deal to cast it. Cat also knows Doom, but Meteor will kill her. Uh, actually, that gives me an idea. Nick. I don't think this will work, but I'm curious. Oh, God damn it. That... <sighs> God damn it. That's not what I wanted that to do at all. Cat, your ability sucks. The problem is this asshole doesn't have any money. He just gives you magic points. But he's awesome for learning magic. Oh yeah, I meant to shift you to something, didn't I? Well, you need to learn Doom, but I think you're still learning Doom. Yeah, yeah but you don't need Doom. Do you need? Life wouldn't be bad for you. Rate of five, rate of two. You can have Sraff. You need this because you could definitely survive a Meteo hit. You're learning Phantom. Berserk and Demi will go up more. We'll make that happen. Come on, Ghosty. That's okay. Yeah, I know. It's been raining for like four days. Worst May ever. Alright, Marstic's still kind of dying. He's so cute when he's casting his spell. No, no, I just like that. Cat's doing a hell of a lot of damage with, the, with those relics we gave her. That's pretty awesome. I think Intangiers only show up in the, um... Um... Forest. I've set my, uh, fast-forward to Toggle, so I can fast-forward through some of the garbage battles. For what it's worth. Like this. Since those fights don't really matter. <laughs> But yeah, I figured I'd show you guys what I did for... I don't know, I think I did it for about an hour or something. Don't do that here. He'll hit you in the face. And we're still getting magic points from those crappy little battles, I guess. 
Oh, she's probably gonna die. I think to top her healing up. She might live. Sometimes Meteo hits her for pretty low. Or sometimes it misses. Regen. That's not bad at all. Um, since you can't make with the healing, why don't you do this? That's good. I also derped around on the belt for a little bit, but I didn't learn any new uh, blue magic for Kur uh, Fess. I think I might have learned something new for. Um, uh, sold. One more doom. Still, it's a really easy way to get fast uh, magic points. Later, later, later in the game, there's cactars, which are pretty much the same thing. But yeah, you don't want to fight this guy properly. You just want to, you just want to fight him with a uh, bullcrap, basically. <laughs> You just want to cast death on them. It's some weird thing. Invisible foes, it's a lot easier to use death magic on them. I'm not sure why, but, yeah, whatever. Uh, you need a new Esper. You learned all those. You learned all those. You know that. You know that. You know that. You know, oh, dispel, but who cares? You know, poison or scan. Not scan. She almost knows everything. I kind of just have her in the party because she's the easiest thing to kill them with, because I know she'll survive. But I can swap someone else out once she knows everything. Uh, I just kind of like having Marstick in the party. She's important. She's the main character. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I don't get magic points from them. Well, that's stupid. Check everybody else. You learned all that stuff. All that. I would like you to know Phantom. Yeah, you're still doing that. You probably learned all of Carbuncle. Yeah. Uh, you don't know any two magics. Ooh, that's gonna have to change. And you're still learning Doom. Doom takes a little while, but hey, Intangiers! Yay! So yeah, I figured I'd just let you guys watch me grind for a little bit. Some people have expressed an interest in that, some people just like watching me play the game, you know? I don't really care what I'm doing. Sweet miss! Uh, let's see. I don't feel like dicking around with going into the airship and dealing with the, uh, do you want to find the thing, and then landing, and... Aw, oh, it's got a little ribbon on it! I don't know if we've seen Marstick's tent. Reminds me. I don't have Ragnar in the lead, and he's in my party. Ha! What have I been doing? Sweet. And good luck on the, uh... The great deity RNG has been fa uh, favoring me. Totally cool with that. Nice! I'm lucky with that. Uh, so she learned scan. Some poison? Why the hell not? Ah! Don't go out there, Ragnar! There's things that aren't Intangiers! Don't do it! No! Okay, we got it. And she goes first. No. I don't know if you can steal anything from them. I'm pretty sure you'll miss since they're, uh, invisible. <laughs> Yay, Ragnar Gnome's doomed now, so I think we can safely take Marstick out of the party, but... Like I said, I think I'm gonna work on some levels for a bit, and that doesn't involve... I think everything... She doesn't know to spell, but I don't really care. 
give her something to learn later. But we need to head to Veltz, because we need some monies. Um, really bad. Uh, let's... Now get naked. Okay. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, why don't you put these these on? You can wear shoes, and that's it. Okay. I want. We're gonna dig around the belt. We may as well grab Zoltan. Ah. Yes. guys all need more magic points. Well, I guess... I guess Kuroso doesn't. Those could really use magic points. Yeah, but we can steal stuff with Kuroso, though, and that's good. Because mini-bosses show up on the belt, too, and that's awesome. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna break off this video real quick, and then we'll, uh... We'll see you on the belt.